For the past 15 years, Walter Longo has carried out study after study, and all the evidence points to the regenerative mechanisms of fasting. Very clearly, in the laboratory studies, we see that there is shrinking of organs, shrinking of cells, and then re-expansion. And then it begins to uh, turn on stem cells and begin to turn on the regeneration process, right? And it makes a lot of sense. It's actually a very simple concept, right? Because if I stop eating for two months, uh, I will become maybe half of the size that I'm right now. And then if I start eating again, the body has to rebuild all of that, right? So health of me, it be brand new. Uh, so it's very difficult to compete with that, right? To, to say, I'm going to come up with drugs that are going to do rebuild health of you. But what is the impact of fasting on aging? Walter Longo subjected patients to three cycles of slightly adapted fasting with a diet low in sugars and proteins. We did a clinical trial with Walter Longo in which individuals were enrolled in this five-day fasting mimicking diet, and they went through three cycles of this, and we tested their biological age at the beginning of the intervention and the end of the intervention. And what we found was that this had a reduction of about two and a half years on average for participants, even though this only took place over about five months. Three five-day fasts were enough to reduce biological age by two and a half years. The proliferation of stem cells, the regeneration of the immune system, the elimination of senescent cells. The effects of fasting seem as effective as all the most sophisticated anti-aging methods. And so that's exactly what we were hoping for, which is it wasn't about intervening on one uh, aspect. Uh, it was really intervening on, on many different systems and, um, and making uh, what appears to be many different systems younger. It's just three times doing this five-day fast, and we think that if people were to maintain this, doing this a few times a year, every year of their life, this would have a huge impact on their rate of biological aging over time. And what if fasting also acted on cognitive decline? and notably Alzheimer's disease. Walter Longo has started clinical testing. It would be difficult to find an intervention that causes more changes in the brain than fasting does. That's why we're very optimistic, very cautiously, but very optimistic that something will happen, right? 